the point of view. Today I'm driving something special. This is a tuned 2008 Subaru Impreza STI. This car has roughly 400 horsepower. It's a quick car. Currently it's running around 350 in its maximum setup. It's more than 400 actually. All that power is being pumped through a custom exhaust and it also has a sports clutch. So in the city it's almost impossible to drive smoothly. It's difficult, let's just say that. But before we talk more about this car, let's talk about the history of STI, Subaru Technica International. Back in the 90s, the first generation STI ruled the rally stages and yes, you could buy that same car in the dealership to what maybe would have been a regular family sedan money. Then came the bar guy in 2001 and it had a facelift in 2004. Subaru had made a name for themselves. It was the rally car for the road. And then in 2008, I believe, came this car, the Mazda 3. I'm not saying this car looks bad, but a Subaru should be a sedan. It really should. And with its new body shape, they basically turned away from rallying. This means that the drivers started driving front-wheel drive cars that had been made four-wheel drive. They weren't as special anymore. Subaru, Mitsubishi, Lancia, all those great cars, they weren't in rally driving anymore. Yes, of course, you still see Subarus driving rally stages all across the world, but it's not the same anymore. Now about this car, it has had a full engine rebuilt. These engines, the 2.5 liters, they're not very reliable. Anyway, basically all of the engine stuff is new. It has had a ECU remap, a custom exhaust. The bottom line is, this car is fast. It drives very well and I wish it had the same power it had a couple of days ago. By which I mean it needs an ECU remap again. Right now, currently, some of the time it's using full throttle, full power. The next time it's just cutting out. The settings are wrong or something. Don't, don't be bothered. Anyway, the point is I drove this car when it was in full glory and it's a beast. It's really, really fast. I've been a passenger in this car when it had studied winter tires on a ice track. A short clip of it right here. Currently it's using sort of slicks. They're road legal. Yeah, the road legal, but they're slicks, almost. Anyway, the grip is amazing. It's not as responsive and darty as a Focus RS, but it has the Subaru feel. It's planted. Whatever you do, it feels like you should do it faster, better, more aggressively. use its full power. Damn it! Some words about the interior. It's all plastic. It's all crap. You simply can't find any good materials in this car apart from the bottom half of the seats. They are really nice Alcantara. 
Mm. But the seats, they don't hug you as well as the old cars did. I used to own for a month, for a month, a coupe version of the first generation STI. It was a version 4 with 206 kilowatts and absolutely nothing was stuck in that car. And the seats, the seats were just fabulous. They were rally seats. These seats, well, yeah, sure, they're sporty and all, but they're not as good. They're not as good. So this car also has the turbo timer Apexi, which means <laughs> the car doesn't shut off until 24, 23 seconds. But let's take a quick look at the boot it's not that big basically smaller than now it turned off ah. so basically the boot is quite small but it is usable it is practical sitting at the back this is my driving position it's okay back here perfectly fine black headlining sporty seats it feels nice back here but the plastics are really bad. I like the Alcantara, but the leather used on the seats just feels so cheap. It feels so cheap. There's a zipper right here. Just saying, just saying, just saying. The thing I like about the interior, apart from the material on the seats, I like the dashboard. The layout is very nice and I like the shifter. Surprise, surprise, this is basically unchanged from the bar guy in 2001. As far as equipment goes, um, you get climate control, buttons on the steering wheel, a temperature gauge. I mean, sure, you get some more equipment, but all in all, it's not very good. Again, I am criticizing this car, but that's not the point. The point is the driving, the feel of this car. It feels raw, it feels untamed. It's meant to be driven on the rally stage and it's still fun on the road. Although speeds can quickly grow very, very unlegal, but that's not the point again. If you lose your license, it's your fault. When it comes to power, absolutely nothing happens below 3000 RPM. It's basically like nothing, 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 and then boom, the turbo kicks in. I haven't launched this car and I think I won't because actually I am afraid about the clutch and the gearbox so I'm not gonna do it but guessing about maybe 4.5 maybe lower than that from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour but launching a Subaru is is very hard it's very hard it gets bogged down a lot Every gear change you make has to be perfect and it is hard to change gears fast and smooth in this car. So, what do I think about the Subaru Impreza STI, aka Mazda 3? It is unreliable. I don't like the styling and I hate the fact that the interior is all plastic. And then again, I love it. I love it because the engine and the drivetrain and the emotion this car gives you, it's just unbeatable. Absolutely, every time you start the car in the morning, in the evening, whatever, it makes your day special. There are fast cars out there 
there are special cars out there but this car it feels raw it feels sort of unchained it feels like it wants to kill you basically and every time I drive this car fast I am scared I really am I drove the Focus RS actually quicker than this car and it was like a walk in the park in this car I feel scared I feel scared and that's not a bad thing because this is a really fast car and if you don't look out this car will try to kill you it can't use all the power damn it maybe in this mode almost but still not good anyway guys thank you for watching this is a new type of video for me hope you like it subscribe like share and see you again soon bye